Hello Lillas, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Today is a informal introduction of my version of full body kit. You guys may not remember or may be new to this channel so may not have met India. India was the cuddle baby with hands that I did as a prototype. This baby here is not a prototype. Um, but she is the same face, same hands, and she's now got a full, full body and feed and all that great jazz. But anyway, so I just wanted to do a quick video because a lot of people are asking, um, a lot of questions about the kit itself. So, um, number one, the kit was sculpted by Jennifer Sussman Price, but is being sold by her partner, her business partner, Kathy Romero Miskitty, which you can find the blank silicone kits at www.siliconestudio2.com. Um, so that's siliconestudio2.com. No, this is not sponsored. I paid my hard earned money for the kit. Um, I'm just giving out information about the kit itself because you guys know I've, I was madly, madly in love with the um, India that I made and recently sold and went to her mommy which was happy very happy with her um this baby is i think I should, before i came on to give information i should have looked up the facts i believe she is measured out to be i'm looking for my <clears throat> measuring tape as always i believe she's measured out to be about 18 inches and in comparison if you want to compare I would say she's probably about the size of maybe uh, Pascal a lot of you guys are familiar with that that uh, that reborn so she for me is small newborn um, definitely could be considered can be considered a large preemie but I think she's more for me she's more small newborn she can fit um, Carter's brand newborn size clothes. Um, so far, I've tried her on some Walmart brand newborn, like the Disney, you know, uh, Winnie the Pooh type stuff. She was able to fit them just fine. These pants, I had put these on her just to try them on. And they fit. They were a little baggy around the bottom of the leg part. Um, not so much... I mean, I could have either flipped the, the bottom up or I just left them how they were because I thought they were really cute. If she had on socks, it would have pushed them up a little bit. So, um, and she definitely, I know she can wear H&M um, zero to one month. But I do think that she would also fit in some preemie clothes. Probably not super, like, you probably want to get no too, too small preemie. Old Navy, I would buy her up to seven pounds. And she would probably be okay with that. Um, so, yeah, that's her size pretty much. Um, I did have to open the mouth on this kit because the mouth is not open. And so I did cut open her mouth. Um, so, <laughs> and I tried to paint inside there. Um, but, yeah. So I did have to open up her mouth so she could take a full pacifier. Um, when I get ready to list her for sale, because unfortunately I can't keep her as much as I want to. I would love to be able to keep her, but I can't. Um, I will list like all her information, like her pricing information. And I'll probably do another video once she gets her hair fully rooted. Um, I was expecting to try to get her rooted this week, this upcoming week. But it looks like one of the prototypes might reach today. Um, if that's the case, I will have to root her probably in between. So instead of taking maybe a week, it might take me two weeks to get her rooted. I don't know. I can't be sure with my life. <laughs> that's why I haven't, like, a lot of people have been messaging me about trying to reserve her. But I don't want that pressure of on somebody. Um... A baby and I still got 
I have a prototype that I am on a time schedule with that I, you know, I have to complete. So I usually give that priority. Um, so with that being said, um, I'm going to finish up any shine spots I have for her, um, on her that I need to do before I really dig, dig into her rooting. Um, and then her spot is taken on my paint table and cause I don't want her to have to go back on there for nothing. And just to give you guys a comparison, um, this is Micro Premi Nori. And Nori, <laughs> look at Nori. Nori. Oh no. That's the difference in their skin tones, if you guys want to see that. Um, Nori is more petite and she's pretty long nor is almost 15 inches so just a couple inches shorter but the thickness of her belly and her arms and all that stuff makes this baby a more full size you know baby um this particular one does not have armatures she does not have armatures so she is flexible, but she, you definitely can pose her and prop her and get her hands to stay. I just, like I said, I need to finish working on her before I get to doing a whole lot with her. So I'm being very, very limited in, you know, all the back and forth and clothes changing and all that stuff. So, um, let me see. I know she's like turned. And she does have the jelly belly, as you've seen in the other videos. It's very nice. Her head does turn easily from one side to the other. So she will not, you won't have to worry about her head um, going into the pillow like she's smothering or anything like that. So, yeah, I can turn her from one side to the other. Um, like I said, her all over, she's very squishy, very soft. Um, she has nice feet. And like I said, I will do a whole detail reveal. I will have her out of clothes and in just a diaper um, so that you guys can see her when I'm all done with her. But she does have, um, like I said, she has nice size feet and everything. So... I'm excited about her and honestly if it was anything any way possible that I could if I had other babies in here that I could sell that was ready or able to be sold I would keep this baby and hold on to her forever <laughs> okay nothing's forever with me we know that but yeah so I'm gonna take some more pictures of her on um and put them on Instagram, also on my page. If you guys are not following me on Facebook, follow my actual page. It's Miss Serenity Smith. On my profile, I'm not accepting any more friend requests because I want everybody to go to my page. Um, again, it's it's literally Miss Serenity Smith. That's the name. And you'll see uh, the, lo the uh, picture is uh, of uh, Cairo in the background. And so, yeah, I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Um, and she has modeling. And as you can see, she has some veining and so on and so forth. Um, she does have rooted eyebrows. I am pretty pleased with this, this, these, her eyebrows. I wanted her to be more of a, like a hairy baby. So I gave her more thicker eyebrows. And I'm planning on putting a little bit more baby hairs in her like face um, as I root her but the other video that I did for those that saw where I was role playing with her she was at the doctor's office um, it was it was done you know in low lighting um, and when I say low lighting is hard to actually record and get my lighting in there normally when 
<laughs> even though it's in my painted area it sounds crazy but I usually paint during the day I have all my windows open I have natural light I have lamps on all that jazz I cannot do all that and you know I don't like to bring too much stuff over there because that's my paint area so the quality was pretty bad um but I appreciate all you guys being nice <laughs> and saying she looked beautiful um but I know the quality sucked and it didn't really show her so I wanted to come back and show you guys what she really looked like um and in, in, in real lighting so you'll see kind of what she looks like in person so um that's it guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share it with all your friends and i hope to see you guys soon bye bye